The trip up to Tofu Mozambique is about 14 hours depending on the roads. This time however we had pretty decent road conditions as the Chinese have been building new roads. There are still some sections of sand road but it's not too bad. The most amazing thing about travelling up to this area is you pass these old abandoned little towns that are obviously remnants of the war. At the same time as it being beautiful, it's pretty scary to see what we can be capable of. I don't really know the Tofu area very well in terms of fishing. I have fished a little bit further south, but um, I spent a whole day looking for some mocks and managed to find some good ones. So this particular morning I, I got my GPS out in Fish Finder and headed straight for the mocks. Um, this morning was particularly good, almost shot for shot as I was dropping down. Um, I was getting serious fish action on these vertical jigs. The last time I was here in Mozambique I used these uh, lures which are called the King Squiddies made by a company called Guya. That's guya.co.za. So I headed off to Guya and they gave me some samples to take up to Mozambique with me on this trip to test out. And I must say these lures are unbelievable. Prior to this day that you're going to be watching now, um, I spent two other days playing around with these jigs and I'd already landed up to about 15 kingfish on this particular jig. So as you see me throwing it into the water, there's actually a whole bunch of bite marks on the jig. But this time I took the jig out again and uh, was into some serious action to start the early morning off. See I'm busy jigging with a pen sort of rig at the moment. The only reason is because my two coffee grinders that I do have, or spinning reels as, as most commonly known, that I did have uh, seized up on me during the fighting of these fish. Unfortunately you buy cheap and it does not last against fish like this. The fish are seriously strong. So I do suggest that you buy something better. What I was using here is a Shimano 2040 and it absolutely did the trick. When I got the hang of it, initially obviously I was battling a bit, but once I got the hang of it, I actually started preferring using the pen as opposed to a, a spinning reel, which is traditionally used for vertical jigging. Um, yeah, also you can use your thumb to put some extra pressure on because I was using some 50 pound braid here, um, just so that we could hold those kingies off the bottom. I was catching uh, shot for shot a uh, yellow spot kingfish. The mark that I obviously found was full up with these fish. Most every time I went over the mark, I ended up catching a yellow spot. So the other day, I actually, when I, while I was out here, I caught a couple of car carp in the deeper, which I'll show in another video. But this video is just literally full of yellow spots, and at the end, I hook into a huge GT which unfortunately I lost because I, I was using my spinning reel which, which conked out on the fighting of that fish. I've been fishing off a pinnacle for about a year now and I've absolutely been loving the stability of the ski. It gives you a lot of confidence when vertical jigging and the kingies hit you that you're not going to get pulled over. As you can see in the footage, when the kingies do hit, it pulls the whole skis to the south. So it's great having a stable ski under your butt. I've also been told that the new pinnacle is in full production. Um, I will be doing a video shortly on what is new on the Pinnacle. Uh, you guys have seen the new strength factor to the Pinnacle, but there are a whole bunch of other changes that have happened to the ski. So if you keep watching my YouTube space, I will be posting another video shortly on all the adjustments and changes to the new ski.
you enjoy the rest of the video. If you do have any questions or queries about uh, either the spots or anything you've seen on this video, please feel free to email me at sean at fishingcorner.co.za that's S-H-A-U-N at fishingcorner.co.za and I'll be uh, glad to respond to that now. If you have any product or anything that you think I could promote for you on my video blog or take out for some testing, please give me a shout as well and I'll be happy to have a look at it and uh, maybe chat to you a little bit about it.